Good morning, one and all. Welcome to my next video lecture. Today's topic is numericals based on degree of hardness. Before discussing the topic, let us make a quick review on the term hardness. What do you mean by hardness? Yes, hardness means it's a condition of water or it's a situation of water. What is the situation? That water do not form a ready or permanent lather which is combined with the soap. Then what is the reason for this hardness? The reason is it is due to the presence of calcium, magnesium or heavy metal ions combined with chlorides, sulfates, bicarbonates and carbonates. In this video, I wish to discuss about the degree of hardness. What do you mean by degree of hardness means the amount of substance which cause hardness. We are going to find how much hardness causing substance is present in our solution. If you know that, let us, we can design the methods to remove that process or the, to remove that hardness causing materials. So, let us go through that. First of all, hardness is usually, I think that you are familiar with the units of carbonate. Sorry, hardness. Mainly, hardness is expressed in terms of equivalence of calcium carbonate in order to simplify calculations of water analysis, which means if a particular solution consisting of a particular component, maybe calcium sulfate or magnesium sulfate or magnesium chloride or zinc sulfate, like that, what will be the amount of substance we express how much equivalent of calcium carbonate is present? We make a comparative study. If you have a component, you can use the equivalent of calcium carbonate. In the basal, we are expressing the extent of hardness. Why? I think that in one university question, there is a question is asked in a university examination. A question is asked why we express the hardness in terms of calcium carbonate equivalence. The answer is this because the molecular weight is 100 and its equivalent weight is 50. That means both are whole numbers. So, calculation in water analysis can be simplified. Second thing is, calcium carbonate, we know that it's the most insoluble salt which can be precipitated in water treatment, which can be removed easily. Due to these two reasons, we are using calcium carbonate as a standard salt or we are expressing this hardness in terms of calcium carbonate equivalence. So in this video, you have to learn or you have to by heart one equation. The equation is this, the CaCO3 CaCO equivalent hardness or the e hardness, equivalent hardness of a solution is equal to mass of hardness causing substance. In some books, it is re recorded as X into equivalent weight of CaCO3, the whole divided by equivalent weight of hardness causing substance. Once again, CaCO3 equivalent hardness is equal to mass of hardness causing substance into equivalent weight of CaCO3 divided by equivalent weight of hardness causing substance. I think that in this term or in this equation, there is one term which is repeated. The term is equivalent equivalent or equivalent weight. Let us discuss what do you mean by equivalent weight. It is simple. Equivalent weight is the mass of one equivalent. Then what do you mean by equivalent? It is expressed, it is given here. That is the mass of a given substance which will combine with or 
displays a fixed quantity of another substance. This is a standard substance. Ne, remove it, displace it, and remove it. It is a number of material. It is a mass of equivalent weight. Once again, it is the mass of a given substance which will combine with. Uh, or displays a fixed quantity of another substance. In this, in this uh, chapter, we are mainly discussing about the equivalent weight of salts, the equivalent weight of acids, equivalent weight of bases. With this, these are different. In this video, we are mainly discussing about equivalent weight of salt. The equation is like this. The formula weight of salt divided by total valency of either cation or anion. Simple. We will move to the uh, we'll move some move to some examples, then it will be clear. Once again, the equivalent weight of the salt is formula weight divided by total valency of either cation or anion. Some we can let us discuss here. This is a table. Uh, I think that you are familiar with the terms or the values. H is its equivalent weight is 1, C is 12, O is 16, Na is 23, S is 32, Cl is 35.5, Ca is 40. Then these are some anions HCO3, H means uh, H1, C means 1, that is uh, 12. So 12 plus 113, and uh, there are 3. Oxygen atom. So 16 into 3, 48, 48 plus 1, 49, 41 plus 2, uh, 51 plus 1, 61. That is HCO3. HCO3 2 minus 60 SO4 is. I think that you are you know how to calculate these values or how you know how to use these values. Let us discuss uh, some equations or some examples for it. Uh, uh, equivalent weights. First of all, CaCO3. What is the equation? Equation is this is the equation, equivalent weight of the sample is formula weight of salt divided by total value. So what do you mean by formula mass means the mass of this substance, which means formula, what is the molecular formula CaCO3, then the formula mass means the mass of or the mass, the total mass of the uh, molecular weight which means Ca1 that is mass is 40 C means 12 and oxygen 3 that is 16 into 3 so 40 plus 12 plus 16 into 3 48 equal to 100 so formula mass is 100 then what is the equation for equivalent weight equivalent weight means formula mass divided by charge total charge of either cation or anion what is the if it is CaCO3 and rho ionized, it will produce Ca2 plus and CO3 2 minus. So, what about the total charge of cation? 2 plus. What is the total charge of anion? 2 minus. Both are same. The charge is 2. Then you have to divide this equivalent weight is the formula mass by 2. Equivalent weight is equal to 50. I think that you got it. Next, CaSO4. Let us do what is the uh, formula mass tell? What is the components consisting in CSO4? 1 Ca, 1 S and 1 4 oxygen. So the formula mass is Ca is 40, S is 32, O is 16 into 4 that is 40 plus 32 plus 64 that is 136 AMU. Then what about the charges that is Ca2 plus and SO4 2 minus the charges is 2. So equal weight is equal to 136 by 2 that is equal to 68. Next example, CaCO2. Let us discuss what is the formula mass. That is 40 plus 35.5 into 2. So 40 plus 71, that is 1 by 11. Then equivalent weight is the formula mass. That is 111 divided by either. What is the charge? Cation charge is Ca2 plus. Anion charge is minus 1, but there are 2 chlorine atom. That is the, that is the difference. That is either uh, total charge. So, total charge of 2 Cl is minus 2. Here is plus 2. So, either cation or anion. What about this? If you take both, we cannot take both. If you take any one, then we can say uh, we will get the answer as 2. Then equivalent weight is equal, charge is equal to 2. Then equivalent weight is equal to 111 divided by 2. So, that is equal to, um, that is approximately, uh, 111 that is um, I think that you forward the number you can will get by the calculation 
then NaHCO3 then NaHCO3 means the um, uh, what about the formula mass uh, formula mass is uh, um, that is um, 23 uh, that is na is equal to 23 hc is equal to 1 12 uh, c is equal to 12 o3 is equal to 16 to 3 so 23 plus 61 that is equal to 84 here this difference is that when this nhco3 will dissociate will produce n plus plus hco3 minus so the anionic charge is plus 1 and the cationic charge is also plus 1 so cationic charge is plus 1 and anionic charge is minus 1 both the charges is equal to 1 then you have to divide this formula mass divided by 1. So, with the both the formula mass and equivalent weight are same. That is the difference. So, I think that you will be familiar with how you can calculate the equivalent weight. Once again, I am repeating how we can determine or how we can calculate equivalent weight. The simple equation that is um, formula mass divided by uh, total number of uh, total charge, uh, total sum of uh, cation or anion. This is some um, no This question is uh, that I am reading the question once again. A water sample contain 408 milligram of calcium sulfate per liter, which means one liter consisting of 408 milligram of calcium. Calculate hardness in terms of CaCO3 equivalents. Let us go through that. First of all, we need to write the equation. Once again, that is the, the equation is to find the calcium, uh, CaCO3 equivalent hardness. Then the equation is mass of hardness causing substance into equivalent weight of CaCO3 divided by equivalent weight of hardness causing substance. What about the mass of hardness causing substance? Because Ca is uh, SO4 is the hardness causing substance. That is mass is equal to 408 milligram per liter. That is mass is 408 that is per liter then next is the uh, what about let us calculate the equivalent weight of CaCO3 we know that the formula weight is 40 plus 112 plus 48 that is formula weight that is 100 by 2 that is equal to 50 then what about the equivalent weight of CaSO4 that is 40 plus uh, Ca40 plus S is equal to 32 plus O4 4 into 6 16 that is equal to 64 so total sum is equal to 132 136 the charges is equal to plus 2 and minus 2 though when it is divided by 2 we will get 136 by 2 that is equal to 68 then directly we have to substitute we get it says uh, mass of the substance is 408 divided into 50 because equivalent weight of CaCO3 350 divided by equivalent weight of CaSO4 that is 68 then we get 300 milligram per liter or equivalent of hardness that's about the question once again in this video we have to learn two equations the equation for CaCO3 equivalent hardness is equal to mass of hardness causing substance into equivalent hardness of CaCO3 divided by equivalent weight of hardness causing substance and the equivalent weight can be determined by formula mass divided by uh, some of either cation or anion. That's about today's video. One more point, you have to work out some problems based on this uh, particular topic and I will give some examples or as, uh, as assignments without um, any, what, uh, what I want to say that you have to work it uh, uh, why you have to practice it in your home then only you can crack this because these questions are made uh, most probably we expect these questions for university examination i wish you good luck have a nice day